Welcome to Empire Boy, this is Rampant, and welcome back to my Daedric Invasion campaign, where we're going to continue we left off from last time. Right now, I want to start off with a fight with Moleg Ball here. I want to have him take Lanelin, as he should be able to fairly easily, so that we can continue pushing our front into Hammerfell more. Ooh, they actually have their prince, uh, one of the princes in here. Prince Grecklith, the Just. Uh, okay, force here. But, shouldn't really hold us back all that long. But basically what we're going to continue to try and do right now is Molek Ball right now is in a prime position to keep pushing into Hammerfell for us, trying to make us a little bit more money as we are slowly coming out of the red. I think last I checked it was at 22,000 is what we're losing right now. And even though we're losing uh, a little bit technically when me getting uh, when I get more forces with his little vampire mini game. The forces we're taking and the land we're taking with Molig Ball actually still really helps us out a lot. Where we're still making more money than we're losing every turn, which is great. And so if we can kind of keep this up. I'd say eventually we're going to be able to go back to actually using our spies and assassins like I want to with this campaign because I don't want to just kill everybody off and conquer the world with this campaign that was never the point of this one and so what I think we'll do is like once we actually start making some money we can build ourselves up start getting more assassins and spies out and about again and what we'll do is just start sending wave upon wave upon wave of assassins at enemies and I think what we'll probably do is, I think maybe Valenwood might be the best place to start off when we actually have the money. Because right now, they are bordering the uh, Valenwood forces um, in Somerset, where I can just gather a bunch of assassins, sail them over into Valenwood, have them start killing people, and just keep slowly trying to whittle down Valenwood. Because I, I don't want to walk into Valenwood. Valenwood is such a shitty place to fight in. They also have a lot of archers, so it might be more difficult to properly just kill them off as the Daedra, because the Daedra have really strong infantry, not the best archers. And so that might be the best way to kind of start that off once we have enough money. We, just, we can try and start doing that. Because I think we'd probably say, hey, we can go to Valenwood first. Those guys can then kind of like keep pushing towards Blackwood and all that stuff and get rid of the Argonians and the Khajiits as we are continuing to focus on everybody else. Because right now, if we remain I've got Molek Ball's forces that are arms. moving to try and uh, deal with uh, Skyrim and the remaining Bretons and the Forsworn guys. And so, over on the western side, like Hammerfell and De High Rock, are all doing fairly well. So I don't think we need to really worry about them all that much with assassins. And we can kind of keep focusing on them with our armies and then just send our assassins over to Lake Vanlin. Because I think it's not going to take too much longer to get out of the red. Like, we are taking more land, we're holding some stuff, and we're getting there. I know Hammerfell and High Rock, we've been focusing on them a lot, but the Red Mountain's about to be under our control. Um, we, I have one more settlement I'm sieging right now, which I think I want to siege that one out. Because we need as many guys as possible to actually face off against Dagoth Orb, as I want to fight that battle. We might be able to get that to the today. Depends how many turns we go through. It really does. But like once those guys are dead, we'll be able to have a good position over in the Red Mountain. And over here, we're still doing really well. Like once we push these guys, I actually might kill off the Hammerfell factions uh, earlier rather than I was expecting. Maybe depending on how many more of their faction uh, leaders I actually fight. Because this is the heir, uh, he's chilling over here. Guess he might be a pacifist, he doesn't seem to be wanting to fight us. Oh, also, I forgot about you guys. Uh, I was going to shoot another section. So let's move you move you over a little bit, and then have you shoot open this area. So you can kind of get my uh, vampires in there. Because right now you guys are doing well. We haven't really captured that many guys. We have killed a third of their force so far. But I'd like to capture a little bit more, because we can get at least about 150 guys. We'll be able to give ourselves at least a vampire. So keep pushing through those guys. And then are you almost in position? That's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Keep firing over there. Just keep uh, hammering down those walls. Because we are only losing, like... <laughs> well, th that's going to be the thing. Once we even start making money, it's going to take me a while to get out of the red, actually. 
because once I stop losing money and I start making a little bit, I'm still 600,000 in debt, which is not the best. Oh, God. You guys keep making your way towards the city center. I'll, I'll leave the general for now and these archers. I'll leave them until my vampires. Well, actually, I can suddenly... You want to go over this way? I'll have you try and deal with that vampire bowman. That's uh, not vampire bowman. I wish the vampires actually had a bow unit, honestly. What are you guys doing? Go this way. We're going towards the city center. We're going over this way. You're trying to kill the guys that are in the settlement right here. Because they've actually got quite a few guys around here. So I'll keep sending my Daedra that way. And once the gates are down, or not gates, walls are down here. It's 48%. We can have enough ammo. Then I can have my vampires try and finish off the general right here. Who's still just chilling. I believe this is the actual bodyguard. It should be him. What are you doing? Get your ass over here. You guys keep pushing forward. There you go. Just keep breaking. There you go, guys. Now you should all have an avenue of entrance. Let's have you go kill the general for us. Because Molek Vol now actually has the city center, for the most part, kind of under his control. Like, you guys shouldn't last very long. You didn't kill one of the guys, which I don't like. Keep pushing through these archers, which... Oh, God, you guys are doing a lot of damage. 10% of my army's dead, actually. I don't like that. You guys are actually doing well with your archers. Fuck off. Keep pushing through them. If anything, my vampires are almost over here. They're almost to the general. The Once he's dead, you guys can like loop this, back around and enemy. come in from this angle to help us finish these guys off. Because you guys are doing well. I don't like that. Please don't kill Bo like Ball. I don't want him to stop his little vampire mini game just yet. I need him. Without Bo like Ball, this campaign is not going to do that well. This will take us forever to get out of the red. At that point. The enemy general lies there dead. we go. We have sent the core Come on, keep chasing them. I, I, I need to get at least 150 guys so that we can at least get a vampire unit. Come on, keep pushing forward. You guys... Is he already dead? No, 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 no. He's got some guys over here. Okay, keep making your way back to the city center. And then keep trying to capture more guys. Come on, I need 150 of them. That's 90. Okay, that might be enough that I can say we can get at least one unit. Stay outside the city center. Don't don't let them just fight in the city center, because otherwise they'll have unlimited morale. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, guys. No, stand here. Stand here. I want to make sure we, we capture enough of them. There we go. 111. I'd say we can at least say we can get one unit of vampires. We can do that, because where are the rest of the forces? They've got two guys here, four, five guys? Five guys there. So we've got seven guys still trying to fight us. And I think what I'll be doing with you guys is I'm going to have you keep zigzagging through Hammerfell. If we continue like this, Just keep going for whichever fat settlement is closest and has a decent amount of dudes. Oh, they actually have quite a few guys over here. 50 right here. Where did you guys go? I didn't even notice you guys go off here. But you guys are currently outside the sea center. You guys might all break and I can capture you all. It doesn't look like you guys might actually go down with a fight. Yeah, because I can have you guys take this city. Um, I think I'll get, like, what? Um, okay, so I'll get one vampire unit and three undead units to kind of watch over this area. And then we can continue pushing forward, try and go along the coast and take more of their lands. Because at least with Molag Ball, he doesn't specifically care about focusing just the general. We want to just fight the largest armies possible to build the largest vampire army. And so he'll just keep fighting whatever is in the way. While the rest of his forces, I... Do they have movement? I think they do. I was going to be sending them to the northeast to try and get towards Skyrim. And... That really should... I, I'm wondering how far they'll get. I don't think they'll get very far, because they won't be able to replenish all that much. Or no, actually, they might. So, they'll probably get stuck at some point. Let's exterminate some dudes here to make them a little bit happier. And then I need to give him the vampire and undead units. Now, are you guys going to be happy with this? Because we've got at least three guys in here. Three, four guys. So, 
Lower the attacks rate 95. Can I take the vampire out at least? Yes. Yes. I can also maybe take another one. Did? No. Okay. So I have to have it be at least to you guys. And then I'll keep moving more like ball forward. Probably going to go for Dacron next. They've got a pretty good force out here that I should be able to lure out of the city and kill off. Not too worried about what you guys have here, but I'll probably take Dacron, then Volnim, and then maybe just keep pushing back over here. And then we can push you guys back, have kind of this area entirely secured, go after the undead here, and then kind of make our way eastward from there. You guys are still trying to take this. Just siege it. Siege that out there, trying to get a bit more free upkeep. And then you guys, okay, do have more movement. Uh, go towards Evermore City first. Go over there, and then all of you guys are just going to group up with him. Well, again, I'm going to try and see how far north you guys can go. Because I'm hoping that maybe you guys can get to lane, uh, Jenna. Maybe? There's not the most around here, but there's like three or four cities that I want to take in that path. So you guys might get bogged down. Um, also, what is the main reason why you guys aren't happy? I'm assuming it's cultural conversion. And so, yeah. Religious unrest. So, I've got you. Yeah, these are really bad. 30, 30. Let's have you go this way. Of Start trying to convert them. And do I have I any other spa, uh, priests around here? I don't think I do. Yes. Priests, so I've got you. You are all right there. I've got this one guy here. Again, most of you are over there. I've got you in the Cladro Temple area. Oh, I do have you guys in Tanith. 17%. Um, actually, you know what? Make your way over here. It's more important to have you guys over here to try and help convert these areas. So you try and go over there, and I think I didn't have many more. Because it was... Here's moved. Oh, I do have one in Hegath. Ooh, if that's the case, then I should actually bring you up this way as well. And then there's one in Castle Volkihar, which you guys... How is this area doing? It is currently at... 91, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys are loved over here right now. I really do need to try and get you guys off that fucking island. I just have no boats. Because, let's see, right now, over here. Veminal, seven turns. Okay, seven turns. I want to try and siege that. Because I do need as many guys as possible around here ready to assault Dagoth Order. And so we need to try and save as many guys as possible for that assault. And you guys should be able to hold Ghost Gate. And I'm hoping that because I don't have many guys trying to reinforce around here, maybe you guys will be more willing to just attack immediately instead of waiting me out. So I think that will help us out a lot right now. Also, how are things going over here in Leowen? Um, I can get this guy. Yeah, I can get you back. In there. So you can go back over there and help Garrison. I was sending you guys, which you're still making your way over to Leowin. I really need to try and hold Leowin the best we can. So you guys are doing well over there. And then didn't I have another? Yeah, I did have a fleet around here. You guys are trying to get over to Port Hunding, as I wanted to continue trying to put a lot of pressure on the Hammerfell right now. And I honestly really, really want to avoid Valenwood. I really don't want to have to try and and kill their generals off over here. Like, Valenwood is probably the worst faction for us to try and fight, simply because they've got a bunch of archers, and they're good archers. And that's one of the best ways to really do a lot of damage to the Daedra, is through archers. You guys, now, they did rebel at Soul Rest, but I can just exterminate you guys. Oh no! You don't like me? Well, tough shit, you're gonna like being under my command. And once this unrest goes away, actually they'll be fine. So you guys do that. What am I going to do with you? I feel like I should go try and take this. Try and get over here. Try and take that fort up there. Because so I'm hoping they'll leave me alone in some of these. Like, leave me alone here. We're just about... Uh, leave me alone here. And we just took this one. So maybe I should go try and take another one. Which... Maybe I should actually just gather all those guys together over there. I don't. Oh, there's another one over there. So yes. you guys, let's kind of make your way over to the one that's near Greenspring as well. You guys can group up with this force, merge a little bit, and then I'll try and have it so that after you take this one, we'll go over and try and take this one. Let's see, was I almost in range of Coral? 
I was. Right. Also, one thing, I'm pretty I, I know I took this before. They haven't repaired it yet. Um I where which side did I attack from? Cause I would like to not make more holes in the city. That'd be nice. Uh I think if I remember correctly, I attacked from the west. So let me go over here instead and I'll assault that in one moment. Let me remember to take you. I'm going to start sending all my uh, assassins down here. Because, again, I want to start trying to kill off one faction with all my assassins. And so let's try and have it so my assassins will try and kill off Valenwood. So let's try and see if I have any other assassins that are still alive. I don't think I have many. I got you guys in the land drill. You're over there still. And you're moving down. That's it. So you, actually, I forgot about you. Make your way over here. I'm going to have you guys just keep training, keep training on these captains, and once I feel satisfactory in your abilities, that might take a while, um, I can try and send you guys forward and to Valenwood. Um, I'll just have you guys keep training for a little bit, because right now you've got three, eh, three skill, that's not the best, could be far better. So, what are you at? You're at... Oh, wow. Okay, you're already at six. You might actually be good enough to just get the going on your own. Piece, so, still. I'm going to try and have you guys train a little they bit before I drop you guys off over here. Them. And then we need to try and find out where all of their family members are. And start just trying to kill them one after another. Because I don't want to fight you guys. Although, maybe I should actually have them try and focus on this Khajiit right here, actually, instead. They don't have much. They only have, like, four or three, four settlements that are on their own, anyways. So, honestly... Uh, where'd he go? He's right here. Who's I'm actually gonna send you after the Khajiit first. So try and find their uh, their family members. Try and find where they are and try and assassinate them. Also, actually, who is my target? That ooh, that's their faction leader. Oh, go over to him. Go after him. Try and kill him off. And then now let's go oh after Korhal. because you guys. I'm gonna hope this is the side that I assaulted from. Do I want to do night battle? Yeah, you don't really get much of a benefit from fighting a larger army, so let's just do a night battle, get rid of Captain Rodor, because you guys... Eh, decent infantry. And I can't remember if I've destroyed this city down or not to the foundations. If we haven't, then I can get a few Mythic Dawn by demolishing everything. But I feel like I have... I just can't remember. But no, let's push through these guys, get this settlement back under our control, and just kind of contain the Breton menace. Let's wait a little bit so I can kind of see a little bit better. And then, is this the side that we attacked on? So I know the walls are destroyed. What side is it? Uh, I don't see any damage over here. Nothing over here. Anything here? Ah, okay, so this is the section, but I can at least move my guys right here. So there are some areas already destroyed. That's great for us. So we can move you guys up and just all my infantry and start charging. So I'll have you guys are gonna rush in. Oh, are they not even trying to defend this area? Nope. Okay. And then I'll have Moleg, uh, not Moleg, all. Mayor's Dagon push in. I guess they're just not even going to try and defend this wall section. I guess they expected me to be on the south side. Well, they thought the wrong. So let's get in here and charge these guys. I kind of wish that this scaled unit would have been a little bit larger because if you compare what his size was like in Oblivion, he is way bigger than this. But I know like the unit models can only be so large. So let's have you just keep charging in and out, killing some things. Men are winning the battle. Number one, just 1% of the forces are already dead right now. But once you guys are done over here, what do I want Mo uh, Mayor's Dagon to do? I, I might have him go take Cloud Roar Temple, because I haven't attacked Cloud Roar Temple at all yet, and so we can kind of go with the whole idea of demolishing stuff and getting Mythic Dawn out of that for him. So we can try and have him do that. Otherwise, I might have him... Do I want him to just keep pushing forward onto these guys? Him and Moleg Val both facing the same dude at the same time. 
We could do that. We could. Oh, also, I should get my mages in here, because, like, you guys, if I can put you up here, onto this section of the wall, you guys can just freely shoot down onto the men that we're fighting. That would be great. That should help speed things up a little bit. Also, I should try and have you guys kind of maybe flank around a little bit more. Kind of try and go up and around this way to finish them off a little faster. Because they've killed 13% of their forces, but this is still going to take a little while to finish them off. You guys are slowly wavering, but you're not breaking this just yet. Keep pushing forward, guys. Do Meru's Dagon proud. We have to show him that we aren't worthless individuals following him. Well, yes, more like Ball. It's got a little bit more power right now in this invasion. We are the true forces that will inherit Tamriel. We just have to kill more efficiently for our lord. Because we just can't let the vampire man show us up. And then it was that they did, in fact, show him up. Because <laughs> again, until we make money, Molek Ball is going to be doing far better in our little system. Let's have you guys go off to the side. And I kind of hate that a little bit, but I kind of love it at the same time. That this shows a great conflict of interest between the two Daedric Princes. Like, they're both vying for control. Like, Meru's Dagon is the one that was like started this invasion and then we said no more like ball decided to join in on this invasion he's doing a bit better <laughs> oh i can just imagine how pissed off May uh, mayor's dagon has got to be because of that and i love it I just absolutely love it uh are you guys uh, right those are all just archers so make your way over here fight them because i want to get around and start flanking them uh you guys are not doing so hot i should try and get you out of there then again, you're kind of getting a lot of kills. Maybe I'll just trust you. Although you guys might break. No, not break. They're, they're not invincible. They they have high stats, but eventually they will die. Let's try and get them out of there now, honestly. Kind of run back. You're kind of a cab unit, so you can get away with that. Really. So just pull back. I want to try and save this unit and keep him alive for as long as we possibly can. Also, Mary's Dagon isn't actually fighting. You guys keep going around. Get over here. I need you to start flanking them around here, guys. Because number-wise, uh, you're not doing so hard. Oh, you're down on the ground. You're supposed to be up here. You guys are supposed to be up here so you can kind of shoot the enemy. Because right now it's where you're at. Uh, 8 to 39. Much better. You guys are almost done with this archer. They're shaking. They should break soon, I'd hope. Are you sons of bitches? You hit him with arrow fire. Ah, uh, I hate you. He was doing so well, and then you had to kill him. Why? Why did you have to do this to my poor boy? Because I'm so sad that Mayor's Dagon doesn't get to have that guy as his bodyguard. Then again, I can see why, because he, that would be broken as all hell if this thing got to replenish. Because this unit has that AoE component that uh, elephants have in Medieval 2. And they can do so much damage. It's just sad that I honestly kind of wish that was his bodyguard. And it would make it more interesting, I'd say, than him just being the generic normal bodyguard that all the Daedric get. And then it would make it a little bit more high stakes if you use the... Because uh, using this unit is very powerful. Very powerful. But you can get cocky. Very cocky. And it's a lot easier to lose this entity model than it is for you. And so that might be an actual way to make it. So yes, you do get a hell of a lot of power out of it. But you can easily lose him. And if you lose him, because of the way they have the, the script is set up right now, you lose the campaign if you lose the general. So if you use him too much and you're a bit too aggressive with Mayor's Dagon, you can do a lot of damage, but might end your invasion a little soon. And not even by accidentally fighting some sort of giant dragon of Akatosh. No, through your own idiocy. <laughs> Which is always more fun in a campaign. So, you guys, let's keep pushing forward here. Because they're now primarily all breaking. They've now lost 73% of their forces. So you need to keep pushing through them there. How are you guys doing on this side? 
these guys are still holding. I'm surprised these guys... Oh, this is actually the empty archer unit. Because I thought they had an archer unit over here, but I guess they reinforced it with a uh, swordsman. Okay. You guys are at least pushing through here. Ooh, Mayor's Dagon's actually up in the front. Please don't die, man. I don't want the campaign to be over from this. Please don't. Let's, let's kind of pull him back a little bit. He's, he's been doing a good fight. Let's not get killed. There we go. Finally reclaim Core Hall for ourselves. Lost 300 guys. Still losing more. Ooh, nice. 468, 9 kills on that. Yeah, imagine if that unit did heal. Ah, oh, no. Imagine if that unit had replenishment. That'd be broken. That'd be so broken. I hate that I can't even retrain this unit. Ah, <sighs> it's so sad. So sad that I can't. But then again, I think this campaign might be a little too easy if I could. If I could retrain this unit at least, and actually recruit those guys, I'd make an entire fucking army of them. Why wouldn't I? I love breaking this these mods sometimes and making army compositions that like, why are you doing this? Because it's fun, but... No, this is imbalanced as hell. Because I know there was the, the best examples, but still by far, like what I did in the Warcraft mod with the, the Griffin Knight units. Because those guys were fucking ridiculous. And I missed that they were nerfed. Let's see, you guys... No, we haven't destroyed anything yet here, but we will exterminate to make them like us a little bit more. Don't have the thing built up. Okay, but I can actually have... Like, I can destroy it, or, and get some Mythic Dawn units and keep pushing forward. Which I might do. Because that would allow us to kind of get up to Sangator, because what are they percentage-wise? They're 40%, wow. So, if I actually go about and destroy everything here and grab units from, um, Meru's Dagon here, that's 8 units of Mythic Dawn. Which, honestly... Not the worst. Then again, if I just had some uh, Mythic Dawn units in general, I could just bring them over here, and we could just watch over the city, city normally. Ah, oh, eight units of Mythic Dawn wouldn't be bad. Oh, Jesus, I have a lot of generals over here. I need to use you guys. Um, Let's go, honestly, just throw you into Meru's Dagon's army. Let's make you just make your way over here. What's in this city? We march tomorrow. Uh, I should move some of you guys. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna wait. We're not gonna continue to hold this area, but I want to wait and see what I want to do because I could do all this stuff. Because it's not gonna convert higher. So if we do demolish everything here and just move on, like how are they without, like without anybody here? Move out. They're at forty percent already. So I just need some gone, and we'd be able to hold this area. I just don't have any units that I could send forward. Oh, I could send some of you guys. Hmm. I just have none here. Because I do want to push on to Sankator. I really do. Which actually, that reminds me, I should have you. God's servant. Hmm. Stay in Cloud Road Temple for now. Stay there. You stay here for now. Wait until uh, these guys and these guys are able to join up with you. I kind of forgot how many generals I randomly had just sitting about. Because I keep getting more of them, but I just keep forgetting to move them into actual other armies. And uh, I need to use every man I can get right now, honestly. So I'll grab all of them. They can join in with his army. And I'm probably just going to push on to Sankator, demolish this stuff. I'll just do that now, honestly. Because with this, we can now at least have you guys move out from here. Ah, oh, they actually want to fight me. So, we're not going to hold the city, but we'll continue pushing forward next turn. This was going to rebel at some point. I'm going to wait until you guys can at least get these other Daedra over here. Because I want to see if I can merge any of you, which I should be able to merge some. And then we'll continue pushing on to Sankator. I can take that one. This is probably going to rebel in that time frame. And then we can reclaim it later on and then actually control it then with some Mythic yes. Dawn. But for now, you're going to sit there. I'll move you guys out next turn. Um, I don't think... Mm, you guys are still taking a Helgen. Still see if you here. Stop that, please. I just want to survive for a little bit in Skyrim. Have a little bit of stuff. Make 
Now, is there actually a family member up here? That was what I was sending you guys up here originally. There is no family member, which I don't think there is. I can't tell specifically. So I'll have you guys just keep moving. I'll just have you guys go towards Blacklight. Try and cause some damage over there, see what you can do. Because I just don't see any family members around over here. It is just, we have to wait until we take the Red Mountain to really be able to do much over here. So I just need to keep waiting about... It kind of sucks, but... We're at least doing very well on other fronts, so let's end this turn. Because I'm fairly certain that I've already given um, Shigorath his unit for this turn, so we'll give him one more at the start of turn 112. Uh, I'm being attacked here again. Are you guys going to be idiots? Please do. Please do. I need to keep holding White Run for a little bit longer, guys, because it's making me some money. So please, hopefully you guys just break as easily as you did... Yeah, hopefully you guys just keep breaking as easily as you did last time. Because I know what we'll do again is go right up here. Archers, I'm just going to have you kind of chill up here for a moment. I'll adjust you in a second. So go right there. And then... Damn it, I messed you guys up. Okay, you guys will sit here. Start with the battle. General, then what I want to do is line up like... So, and so, you guys are then going to be on defensive stance, and then what I'll do is I'm going to make again that kind of triangle shape up here, there, there, and there, and then it's just going to take them a while to get over here, and I'm going to hope that we can hold them back again. I'm going to hope their morale is going to be really bad, and we can keep holding White Run with this really small army. Guys, what the hell is this? Are you guys lining up for a fucking parade? What are you doing? You're just lining up. You guys have got to be, like, expecting a parade or something. Like, just preparing for your victory. You're just prepping that up. Because what are you doing? Why? Like, waste more time of the battle, I'm fine with that, but I've never seen the AI do that before. I've seen you guys, like, the gates are open. The gates are open and you're just lining up for a fucking victory parade? You haven't even taken the city yet! Guys, why did you do this? Like, they just kept setting up more... Like, look at this. There's just a victory parade. But you're not in the city, you never fought me. You just lined up and practiced for victory parades that you never get to have. Because you're not taking back the city. Why? Like, I'll take it. I'll take it. I make more money holding White Room. But I still question the AI's intelligence at times. Like, some people would think, like, this is just so stupid. I can't play this. Like, this is just... Oh, I actually lost guys. How the fuck? How'd you lose seven dudes? I guess my archers got to kill some people. Yeah. They got in range of my archers once. But honestly, I kind of find it endearing sometimes, seeing how stupid the AI is. Like, I don't want the AI always being fucking horrendous, but at times, like, when they do stuff, I never expect, like, them just set up fucking victory parade preparations outside my city and inside my city and not actually fight me uh it's interesting it's it's interesting and i get to have a laugh out of it seeing that weird ass shit and honestly sometimes it really helps when the ai does that shit <laughs> uh because now we get to hold white run for another turn unless they decide to siege me once again maybe these guys will be a bit more competent and won't just sit there and not actually fight me Ooh, Forebears is attacking Totambu. Hmm. We must fight or forfeit. Okay, the enemy okay. Has laid siege. I've got an okay force there. Please don't bring that second army in. Please don't. Those guys will make it so we have, don't have enough guys to actually win that fight. But if you just attack with that other army, I think we could win it. And you guys want to fight me here again? If I can just kill your faction leader, that'd be great. Like, that's all I really want, is to be able to kill him. But I don't know if you're actually going to advance him forward. 
I just don't know if he will. Because if he gravely killed him in the field of battle, so then, because my assassin's gonna still try and walk over here and try and kill him, but I don't think so. I think he's probably gonna like maybe wait. And you know what? For this time, we're gonna actually try and defend the walls. I'll say that way we can have the towers active for us. Before I was defending the city center, but right now, you know what? Like, let's go up here. Because this area, at least, this area's got actually a pretty good area for towers. Because, like, I can take... Honestly, you guys are actually almost kind of already where I want you. Like, there, there, and, like, one guy here. You guys just sit there, and then I'll just have my infantry just chill back here. Hold the gate, and we can do this. Like, we'll try and take advantage of the fact that we've got some towers. You guys just kind of hold that position. Because these do actually, these are active. So you guys advance forward on me. And I'm going to hope that you guys are just going to break down the gates with the ballista. I'm going to hope still that you guys can take enough damage that I might be able to hold this. Maybe. Maybe. Can you actually destroy the towers? You should be able to. Please just ignore them. Just come on, just focus the gates down, which at the moment, what are you at right now? You are at zero. You haven't dealt enough damage at all. Who are you shooting? Why? That doesn't do anything. There isn't a way in if you break this section. Oh wait, is the... Am I fucking wrong? Is that actually gonna... Huh. That actually might open up the gates for them, kind of. That might be a viable location inside, honestly. Huh. Well, if it is, I'll hope they don't break any others down. So they've got plenty of ballistas. They've got four units of ballistas. So they're going to be able to break almost anything down if they want to. Although this is taking a really long time, too, with the amount of guys they've got. So, you guys did break this section open. Huh, well, okay, so that there actually is a hole in the mountain here. Interesting. Uh, please tell me you're not gonna use... Like, I don't think you guys will have enough ammo to do that again. But they've got a hole. Huh. I completely thought that this area was just gonna be covered, and that there wasn't gonna be an actual hole section for them. So they're trying to shoot over here as well. I'm gonna hope you guys don't have enough ammunition for that. Because please don't. I, I, if I if you're just holding the or focusing on the one section, I think I can hold it. Good. You're trying to charge up here. Is this the general right here? Yes, it is. All of you guys, focus this guy. Come on, kill the general. If we can kill the faction leader. I will be so fucking happy. Get a couple shots in before he got in. Hold him back. Where is he specifically? I don't think he's actually distinguished from everybody else. But he's losing. Come on, kill their king. If we can kill their king, I'll be happy with this battle. Even if we lose, as long as he's dead, I'll be immensely happy. Four to four so far. Not bad. <gasps> yeah! Doesn't matter what happens now. We killed the king. Fuck yeah. Aran Kashara Dar is now dead. Awesome. So now I need to find out where their other faction leader is. As I am going to try and send my assassins over here to try and start killing off this Khajiit faction. Our foolish general has thrown I, his life I knew away, he was going to die. Eh, he was guaranteed to die. Although, honestly, we might be able to run the timer out technically. Because they can't get up here. They can't get to this area right here, so they can't kill all my dudes. And I think at the moment, with how much time is left on the battle, even if they capture the city center... They might not have enough time to capture. They might not. It really depends on how long it takes them to get over there, because um, I think in-game, the battle time limit is not a full hour. It's more like 40 or maybe like 50 minutes, I think it is. And so, like, at this point here, I might not have enough time. They're, they're not even trying to go to the city center. They're trying to shoot my dudes. Like, you guys are trying right here to get onto the walls, but you destroyed the one way to get to my guys. And so there's just trying to get over to these guys, failing miserably. Well, I killed your king for this. 
I, I guess he was the strategic genius of this battle. And without him, you guys didn't realize a way to take the city. Or take the dungeon from me. Gotta be a wonderful way to lose your king. Absolutely great. I honestly, I'd be kind of hilarious. I doubt, I doubt it. Well, what was our, their last family member? A small I, I don't think that's going to be the case. They probably got to have maybe like, what, three... I'm going to guess three. Three other family members at least with their size. Because I haven't killed many of them. They are on, they aren't doing so well for themselves though. So they might not have that many. It, w it would be hilarious if that was the last general, but I don't think it is. We'll have to just try and send my assassin into the lands once more and try and find whoever we can. Just maybe focus down some of the other gener generic generals first before their uh, king. Because we'll just have a higher percentage chance and we can try and train my assassin a little bit. Because this guy, uh, if I remember correctly, he's not the best. Holy shit, that actually was their last family member. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously? Okay, another Khajiit faction's dead. Fuck yes. Now we just have to try and kill the other Khajiit faction. Okay, hey, I, I'm I am completely okay with this. Now, we might be able to kill this air here. Let me try and remember to make sure that I save my ammunition for you specifically, because we can shoot through the walls. I was not expecting him to be the last one. I thought they would at least have one or two more faction uh, family members that they'd have for that Khajiit faction. But nope, they had nobody else. And the last guy sent himself to his death fighting at that one poor little dungeon. Ah, uh, you guys, I say, are still on the side. I don't want you on. So again, we'll just you guys go over here. You guys, I kind of have. Try and have you a little bit higher up. But turn the skirmish mode off. Uh, start the battle. You guys, again, just kind of start walking over this way, and then I'll tell you to stop once you're pushed all the way through. You guys, I'll kind of have sit up here. And the general, you're going to kind of wait and see if they're going to send anybody over the mountainside. And if they do, you can deal with them, because they're probably not going to send that many. Let's see. Oh. You can stop. You technically need to walk back. Do, 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 and about there. Okay. Then just hold that position. That way you're in the city center. And they have to try and push through that little section. Oh, uh, here comes the general's bodyguard. Okay. Now you guys open fire on the general. Try and focus him down, please. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. Fuck him up. Come on, five. There we go. Prince is dead. Perfect. So now they've lost a faction heir for this shit. And then you guys are going to try and slowly push through here. God, I wish this was their faction leader. I wish it was. But hey, that's a, an important family member that's killed off. Uh, you guys maybe should do decent. Okay, but now that the general's dead, I'll just you guys just open up normally. Ooh, they are pushing me back. Holy Father, save us! I Our don't like that. Control of the castle. Yeah, keep trying to break them. I might honestly. Let's send my general out and around, and I can try and have him flank. Six to fifteen. We've got some time. They have pushed us back a little bit, which I don't like. But we have kind of now funneled them here. General, you're going to try and run around, and I'm going to try and have you flank them and see if you can get them to break. Their general is dead. He is dead. And maybe that will be enough to try and break them. So you're trying to run around. Where the hell did you go? Come on, you need to actually run up and around the mountain. I know you can. I've seen the enemy do it, so why can't I? So get going. Go, 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 go. Go to about here. And I think that's as far as you need to be over. Yep. There we go. So just kind of go up and around. Did you go further? 
Okay, you do have to go further. Are you out of time? Uh, come on, man. You need to hurry about this shit. You are taking your sweet ass time getting up there. Okay, there you go. Come on. There you go. Okay. Get down here. Ignore those guys. Just go for the city center. 13 minutes to take the city center back. 22 to 30. Not bad. Not bad. Come on, go over here. Just charge them. Ignore this one. Because they are wavering. My general over here could easily break them all, possibly. Shaken. Shaken steady. Come on. Go! We just need to get them off the city center, or at least kind of capture it again. Come on, try and push through these guys. Please break! I need you guys to break pretty quickly. I'm not gonna have that much time to fight here. At least shredding these units. That's about 39. If I just touch the city center as well, that might be enough to push it back in our favor. Just maybe? Come on. Break, damn you. Breaking cause a chain route. Okay, what's left? Some guys are breaking. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, keep that up. Come on. We need to cause a chain route. Half their army's dead. Pushing through these guys. There! That's what I want to see. Okay, focus this guy. 28 to Come on, break. Break, 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 break. Okay, let's try and push over here. Touch the city center once more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I don't care. Oh, look at that. Look at that chain route. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, General, you can finish them off. Yes! Oh, look at this chain. Oh, it's so many of you. But we reset it. That's all I needed to do. Try and run them down as much as you can, honestly. The enemy is no longer in command ah, of the get back here and fight me. I want to fight you. I want to get this entire army, honestly. So we've taken out 65%. Can we get a little bit more? I'm going to get a little bit more of my forces in this city to watch over it. Because, like, this is going well. It, it was way better. Honestly, I should just put a bunch of archers here. Because if my... Uh, if my skirmishers, if these scamps can shoot through, archers can shoot through, and I can just have an entire army of archers just waiting back here to just shoot through the walls and kill everybody. So honestly, I might just send some extra archers down this way. Hopefully you guys recover a decent amount, I'm gonna hope. Otherwise, maybe just send some more generals over here to kind of be used as the infantry to kind of hold this a little bit better. Because we have to hold Ghost Gate, we have to. And the whole fact that I can shoot through walls really is a huge thing in our favor, which is great. There we go. How many kills my general get? 365. Not bad, man. You guys did heal a few, but still. I'm running low on infantry here. I really am. I think I'm going to try and send at least maybe two archers here. Two archers would really help out defending the city. Because I can shoot through the walls, that'd be pretty nice. That would be pretty nice. Because I can save the uh, scamps to focus down generals. I can try and have them do that, and then the archers will just be set up to try and just get as many casualties as they can on the enemy forces. Do I have any archers available to move in here? Squish? I think I do. Ojasal has got a decent force, and I've got that other army right there. I can just send some archers from them. Just just two. Maybe just maybe three. Maybe I should send one more infantry unit too, at least. One more infantry unit. Leave me alone at land when you assholes. Leave me alone. Like, no, stop this. I don't want to fight you, the undead. Like, you guys are actually probably gonna be the most annoying faction to get rid of. Cause. I've already gotten... They've got, like, one city in Hammerfell. They've kind of started to collect around here, honestly. So maybe they won't. I know they have some stuff up north a little bit. But no. Maybe not that bad. 
I'm still surprised that was the way I was able to kill that Khajiit faction. I could have sworn I thought you guys would have more. Spawned by me? Uh, Solrus is riding, you know, shit. Well, they'll be fine. I'm gonna hope they'll be fine. Again, I'm gonna keep sending you guys over to this area. And I'll have it so that you guys will start trying to take this fortress right over there. And then, the enemy. The other thing is... Ooh, yeah, you know, you guys are gonna have a good fight right there, so I'll be able to get some more guys. Ghost gates, let's see. I'll send, an, okay, I'm gonna send another general, and I'll send two archers. That should help. Oh, also, these guys are free upkeep here, actually. Perfect. I can actually send, I do have this mythic dawn, actually. Yeah, there we go. So you guys are free upkeep. That should be really brutal for the enemy right there if they try to assault us. Okay, so now that should be a much better settlement to defend. We almost 11,000 that turn. Ho ho. We're losing 20,000. Only losing 20,000. It's getting better. Oh my god, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. My lord. You guys might actually be able to get there in time Order. to lay in. I hope you can. I really hope you can. But I think for now, this should actually be a pretty good place to end this video for now. I want to fight this battle right here with Molek Ball in the next settlement. <laughs> Not in the next settlement, in the next video. Try and gather some more undead uh, and vampires for him so that you can keep pushing into Hammerfell. But, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, combat, and... <laughs> like, combat! Like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why, so I can try and... It's light. Um, additionally, there are plenty of other ways. Continue to support my channel in the description, so you can check that out as well. But this is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.